another very speedy update because I don't want to spend too much time on this. Uh, I'm not going to dig into the code like I was doing before. I just want to show you the new features because we're getting closer and closer to done. Um, added the uh, treasure chests, opening those up. Oh, that was me, strafing. Uh, added uh, the details for the locked doors staying locked until you find a mechanism to send a signal to unlock them. Then you can then open those doors freely. Um, all these sound effects, by the way, are actually signal based, so they're really easy to change. You just tell it a different sound effect at that signal. Um, I've added jump attack logic a little bit better, as well as hard falling, where if I fall too high, I'll go into a hard land. Um, you, of course, have the uh, dodges. Rolling. If you're not moving, you'll just die as bad Oh yeah, if you haven't seen this before, this is my dynamic camera update, where if, uh, if I'm in a certain area where there's a new camera, then that camera becomes the active current camera, my controls are now updated to match uh, that camera's perspective. If I leave that area, it swaps back, the controls go back to, female, to whatever the current camera's perspective is. Very handy. Um, I can show you over here the enemies. Oh yeah, I forgot there's the sprint. I didn't show you the sprint. There's the sprint. Hold the dodge button to sprint. Uh, targeting. Targeting will naturally prefer the center target, the center of the screen, else it will look for the ones on the left or the right. Um, it's pretty performant. It's not looking for bodies unless you are actively in target mode. And then also it looks for line of sight. So like, I can't see that enemy right now. If I try to turn on the targeting, I can turn on strafe mode, but I'm not centering around that enemy. I can't see him. But once I can confirm line of sight, he will become the center target on the screen. As well, I've, I've mentioned about this before, but here I'm looking on this side so that the camera doesn't take over here. Um, moving left and right on your mouse will, or, or on your, your analog pad will change what target is targeted. Uh, let's head over here. Uh, set up a basic health system for him. Really basic. I basically made it a counter. If he gets hit five times, he'll die. Um, but for him, I set up a, uh, a ragdoll death. I will also set up a regular animation based death, depending on what you guys feel like setting up, because ragdolls are more pain. Um, but he gets it five times, he'll ragdoll, sink it to the floor, and then it will turn off my targeting, so I can go back to a normal movement. So that's great. Um, not going to go into too much detail of the major changes, but there were a lot of changes. Just for now, know that uh, these different animation trees, like swapping to the heavy weapon and having the heavy weapon attacks, uh, and like changing the gadget and having the, the gadget attacks. Whoop. <laughs> Um, having the gadget attacks recognize what gadget is, a, is equipped um, just works a lot better. It's going to be a lot easier for everybody to add their own animations and swap in their own stuff and have everything just keep working. Um, oh yeah, I did sh didn't show you that, but if you're uh, guarding, there's no, it zooms in. I figure not everyone's going to want to do a melee style game, maybe they're going to do like a, a remnant a shooter melee game. Um, so I figure have it zoom in on the target, whatever's going to be the center of the screen. You could add a crosshair or something, and then uh, this would be an aiming instead of a, uh, a guarding. So you'll figure it out. You can adjust that code later. Um, the more, most important takeaway is that most everything here is signal based, so you'll be able to delete you know, the interact sensors or the weapon system or whatever things will keep working. Um, my weapon streak, same story like that. When you swung, when I, when I, when you swung there was that stream of... of of mesh that gets created dynamically behind the back of your weapon. Um, that's just activated by a signal when the attack is activated. It kicks on, it'll shut off if I get hurt. Um, otherwise, yeah, it'll just go by, uh, by the lifetime set in the weapon streak. Um, that's another little module you'll get. These are all just things that will be given away for free. All the sound effects are free, all the animations are free. Um, none of it is Mixamo. Right now, the, the mesh I'm working with right now, yes, is Mixamo, but I'll make you another one that is CC0 as well. So you'll have CC0 animations, CC0 sound effects, CC0 uh, everything. And it will work with a Unity or Godot standard skeleton, so pretty much any normal skeleton you get from Mixamo or from the Rig Godoify tool I built, a uh, plugin for Blender. Um, really, any of those, most standard skeletons will work. And then uh, hopefully the code will be easy to modify because I try to keep everything really focused on its job. The character body really just focuses on movement and movement types, whether you're on a ladder or jumping or, or whatever, and uh, collisions, whether something hit you or not. But it really doesn't go into anything else. It's not going to trigger sound effects. So you don't have to worry about that. Everything's going to be focused. So if you just like the movement stuff, just grab my player. Uh, 
if you like the weapon system, the weapon system is independent. It doesn't require, like basically any of these things you can delete and or copy and paste into somewhere else and reuse them in other ways. They don't depend on each other. Um, they look for each other and they hope each other's there. Uh, like if you add the weapon system, he, it cares to know that's present so it can take advantage of it. But if it's not there, it's not gonna break. It's not gonna crash. Um, anyway, I'm not gonna go into much detail further than this. Um, although I'd really like to. I'd love to show you like how I figured out how to make better one-shot attack, which then triggers which weapon you're holding, which triggers which uh, combo to do. It's uh, It's gotten a lot better. Really easy to edit. Uh, I think you guys are going to like it. But for now, I'm just going to stop there um, and keep finishing it. So take care, all.